Meanwhile, at the TG Tower. What do you mean you're quitting the group? We haven't even had our session zero yet. Why did you even sign up? And then I cast him out from atop of the tower to watch him fall to the concrete at the bottom. As they deserve. <laughs> um, if any of you guys aren't familiar with this meme, it's been going about for a while. So it has, um, I believe we actually did do the X or the K one. Medivac did that of like two months back. Um, I've seen them on all different boards. This is the first time I've actually seen it on TG, so I couldn't say no to it. <laughs> you guys will get the gist of what's going on soon enough. So let's just jump into this, will we? For the love of God, guys, stop trying to start a goblin brothel on the 34th floor. We do not have the proper paperwork or permits for that shit. Also, the floors above and below are complaining about the noise. The noise! <laughs> the noise! <laughs> yeah, yeah! <laughs> Day 1123. They still believe I'm a tabletop player. I can barely handle the pressure. This double life is slowly driving me mad. Day 1124. I was almost discovered today. It was an innocent comment. A post saying how a 20 allowed me to re-roll my attack against the boss. Got the addition wrong. Had to bail out before they could follow me. This cannot last forever. Day 1126 or 7? Time doesn't matter anymore. There are others like me. I know it, but the Bureau won't tell me who they are. Anonymity, they say. I know they are cutting loose ends. Day 1130. Screw it. 30 it is. The trolls can be heard from the halls now. I have asked for the extraction. The Bureau won't respond. They say it's too difficult. They have their hands tied. Screw the lot of them. Day 1135. There's no way out. There's no way out. I've met the others. They all share the same story. I've been discovered. I await my end. Day whatever. There's no end. They do not care. The Bureau does not care. It's all trolls, all the way down. The other agents are trolls. More than three years here, and I do not understand. What is this place? What mad design led these people to think this? Why can't I leave? Day whatever. I too am troll. <laughs> Such is the life of the new gamer. <laughs> Whoever it is on the 57th floor, can you kindly not race that combat wheelchair along the hall at 2am? Use the recreation area like other differently abled. <laughs> oh, the nerve of people. The nerve. Keg, ah, ah. come up here and stop me fighting. <laughs> See a notice of a DM wanting players for a game held on the 74th floor in my mailbox. I'm on the 68th, so what the hell? Go to scheduled meeting date. Room reeks of salt and musk as I approach. Open door. It's a fucking fatal game. No! <laughs> not my asshole! I will not go my asshole circumference! No! Containment breach in floor 73. Mercer has escaped containment. <laughs> no! Not the other good containment. Or should I say, ornate. <laughs> Anybody else going to the ERP session on floor 69 this weekend? <laughs> the smell. <laughs> hey guys, there's a slime in the 174th floor. A pink one. Looks humanoid despite being gel. Should I risk my dick getting burnt off and fuck it? There's never there's never a time where you're like, you know what, if my dick burns off, it'll be worth it. <laughs> there's never that. Um, it just doesn't work out. There's never a time where it's like, well, I could fuck it and it would work out well, or my dick falls off. I'm sorry, but if dick falling off is even a, even over 1%, even even <laughs> even a fraction of a percent, it ain't worth doing, guys. Just, just say no, all right? Hey, guys. Do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? Because we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human bitties. We got lizard bitties. We got orc bitties. Oni bitties. Cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. Have you heard of these guys going around calling themselves the judges? My buddy sent me a pic of one. Apparently they run, well, walk quickly around, trying to enforce arbitrary rules and judging people's tastes. I heard they caught a guy using loaded dice and threw him off the balcony of level 358. But then I also heard they caught some dudes playing D&D 4th edition and sentenced them to six months in the ISO cubes, which was just a particle board cell they knocked up. I don't know if I should be worried or not. I mean, like, you know, they're doing a great job if you ask me. <laughs> Have an idea for a game I want to run in GURPS. 
Usual group probably wouldn't be Indian. Figure I could advertise and check for interest and form another group. Head on down to the Game Finder board and post the details. Haven't been here for a bit. The entire floor is posts looking for a game to join. Every available surface has posts. Floors, walls, ceilings, most overlapping each other several deep. They vary from scraps of paper saying, please want play game, <laughs> to entire essays of background details of the character they want to play. No indication a GM has ever been here in years. Bit put off, but not the weirdest thing I've seen here. Post my advertisement and leave. Hear howling on my way back up to my room. When I arrive back to my room, somehow my mailbox is already full of responses to my posting. Look through a few. Most are illegible. A few clearly didn't even read the posting. Most of the rest are asking me to change the system to 5th edition. One is a death threat to change the system to 5th edition. <laughs> After several weeks of full mailbox with the exact same mixture of responses, with only one serious response, I give up. Sometimes I hear scratching at my door at night. Plays, plays, gib game, 5th edition only. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I will play a game of GARP someday. I do want to play it. But until then, it's, let's be honest with you, no one plays GURPS. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's one of those mythical things that people talk about. Like, oh, yeah, I play GURPS. It's far superior than any other system. Like, <laughs> yeah, but, like, you know, have you ever tried to find anyone that also wants to play it? Play it with it's you. It's fucking impossible. You know? <laughs> I'm sure it's a great system, like, you know, but... We're playing Star Wars D20 on floor 66. Younglings are welcome. <laughs> Very welcome. So, uh, has anyone seen the Warhammer 40k fans in a while? I know they haven't been seen in a while, but I keep hearing noises and awful smells from their door. Remember when they used to pop up everywhere? Be honest with you, I haven't really seen much outside of the jungles. Yeah. But the, to be fair, there is like five Warhammer related jungles on TG at any time, so you know. Dwarf tunnel is here. We're currently round floor 55. We might have woken something up. If I don't make it back, tell my family fucking knife ears are the worst. The worst. <laughs> Hi folks, service announcement from floor one here. Heating and cooling for all floors should be repaired in the next day or so. The heavy combat janitors have deployed in tactical dreadnought armour to begin their journey across the... well, let's just say they're setting out. If everyone could remain calm and patient and keep that old double barrel on their hand, that would help us out immensely. Thanks for the support, floor one technician. Nobody left in the Pathfinder floor after second edition came out. Bring the 3.5 grognards up to separate them from the other D&D groups and bolster our numbers. We can handle them and our game is almost the same. It's actually pretty nice up here in floor 75. We built a custom table out of melted 40k figurines and have a Zen garden on the balcony. <laughs> Be on floor 1. Reassure the other floors that there is indeed a basement. Tell them the abyss is merely an optical illusion. Put out nets to catch things to further prove this claim. Don't tell them the floors go far into the negatives. Don't tell them about the voices we hear at night from below. Don't tell them they grow louder still. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, why is there... You know finally there's going to be an old god at the end of this. <laughs> this is not a test. Code red. We've got a code red. All combat jannies not currently occupied must initiate a search and destroy operation before Subject Delta Row is awakened. Operation Paint Thinner is to be initiated by technicians to buy time. Mr. Green is required to report to floor 230 for coordination of the containment procedures. This is not a test. Guys, these rat people on floor 13 are up to something. Went past there and they seem to have started working on a weaponized hamster wheel. <laughs> Cut down the ski from players. I remember selling a ticket to a lad who wanted to reach the top floor once. It was a ride on the utility elevator. He went up to 983. He'd have to walk the rest on his own. I hope he made it. He came across like a nice kid. Just wanted to see if there was more to the world, you know? <laughs> Poor child. Poor child. Guys, I don't feel so good. Someone call security. The magical realms are leaking. I repeat, the magical realms are leaking. This is not a drill. I would like the buskers more if they did anything but try to play Blind Guardian and Dragon Force on an acoustic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, we're going to end it here. Sadly the thread's not that big, but I really enjoyed it, so I couldn't say no. I love the concept and the idea, and it's been a long time since I've seen any of these threads on anywhere. Yeah, so, you if, know. if you have any more floors to add, add them in the comments oh, yeah, below so I can yeah, read it. Yeah, add your own th floors actually, and maybe we could add 
to this one actually that would be really cool yeah. yeah if you guys have your own ideas throw them down below and if we get enough of them we'll do another video um, however that's where we're going to end for the day but we got some a wee bit of an announcement yeah we got some t-shirts just saying I think they look pretty cool design's a bit edgy but like you know I enjoy that shit so you know <laughs> something to check out yeah and you can also get them on our website so if you check the link down below you can have a look at our models and our brand new t-shirts and if you guys like them we're hoping to bring out new designs we've got some other stuff in the process in the but, process but, but we're like, not we're giving just... anything away but we'll see how good these go and if you like them or not but don't forget check out the links hit subscribe hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post also definitely add your own floors because i really want this shit to yes, continue yes please I, really, I, I love this concept i love this idea just do it guys yes and please. happy valentine's day by oh, the way yeah. happy valentine's happy day happy valentine's day and we'll see you in the next video bye